Hey Arf, hey. so what are you working on these days? So I'm working to implement Grafana, which we'll use as a dashboard or monitoring tool for the Learn to Cloud website and some metrics that we capture. And I have installed Grafana on an Ubuntu VM. So I've also written a blog post about it. Um, but yeah, I have integrated Nginx too. Uh, so it acts as a proxy and then, you know, we can access Grafana using Nginx. But yeah, it's being hosted on an Ubuntu VM in Azure. I see. Well, how much does it cost you to host that VM? Well, right now it costs 19 to 25 dollars a month for the size of the vm that i chose mm. i believe we can just containerize it and then use azure container apps i'm pretty sure it'll cost you less and also it's a good way for me to teach you another devops concept oh that would be great i'll show you so let's start with the docker file this is where all of our Docker code will go, which basically is a set of instructions to which image to use, what commands to run. And I'm gonna time-lapse this part of the video. Okay, so I have my Docker file ready. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling Grafana image. So there's a public image available from Grafana itself. And I've used the tag main-ubuntu, which means it'll use the Ubuntu image that Grafana has created for us for Docker. And then because I know I'll be using Nginx and I wanna expose port 8080 because that's where our Nginx service will be running. And then what I'm doing here is I'm copying a bunch of local files and we'll dive into them. So I have a directory called Nginx, right? So I'm copying that um, into Nginx on the Docker container. And I'm also copying an start-nginx shell script that I've written. And then we are running a bunch of commands. So the first one is pretty simple one. It's doing an update. So in Ubuntu, it's app get update. And similarly, since you can already, I already told you that we'll be using Nginx as a proxy, I have an app get install Nginx dash Y, which basically passes the argument. So the dash Y just passes the argument of yes to install Nginx. And then we are also giving the executable right to our start nginx.sh script. And I'm also copying the configuration file, which I, I'll define here locally, to slash etc slash nginx slash nginx conf. This is where the nginx configuration lives inside Ubuntu. And then we just define the entry point for our Docker. So that is the Docker file itself. Now, Let's create the Nginx configuration that is being talked here and also the start-nginx.sh script. Okay, so let's go over the Nginx configuration. If you're familiar with Nginx, uh, it looks pretty simple, right? So we have uh, some default configuration at the top and then what we are doing is we are listening to the port 8080. That's where the server is being run. And also I have included a health check. So slash dot health check will give us a JSON file, which I have here. So you can see health saying, okay. So this is the response we'll get just to make sure our container um, has a health check that we can look at. And yeah, so it's returning that JSON and then for the root location, which is our, whatever our domain will be, right? We have the proxy pass to port 3000 because that's where Grafana runs. So Grafana's default port is 3000. So we are creating the Nginx proxy here. So this is Nginx configuration. I've gone over the health check that I created. So let's now go into how to build this Docker container. So if I open my terminal up here, 
and this is running WSL2 so I'm on the Ubuntu image that I have locally and now what we have to do is to run the docker build command and what it's doing is it's creating grafana-container image right so it'll build this but then we also have to make sure we are in the right directory which is the root of our project where a docker file exists so let me first change to that so i've got my docker build command and we'll hit enter and as you can see it's doing all of those steps that we have mentioned in the docker file in the background here as you can see so we'll wait for that to finish you can see it's doing the app get update and now it's installing engine x okay so now it has finished building that image that we just created now we can run it locally so in order to run it locally what i'm going to do is do docker run specify the ports so remember our port we specified in docker file was 8080 and we just tell it that run this particular image so in our case it was docker slash grafana dash container so if i hit enter it'll ask me for the password and now if we navigate to port 8080 we should see our docker container running and now if we navigate to port 8080 we should see our docker container running and there you go so we have Grafana running on our Docker container locally. Now what I want to do is use this image in Azure container apps. And you can see Azure has a service called container apps, right? And this is where you can host container apps basically. So what we have to do is go back to our terminal here and we have to publish this image on some kind of registry so you can either use azure container registry or you can use docker hub and i'll make this image available publicly so that we can use utilize it in azure so i'll go over some commands over here that you need so first thing is you need to have a docker account or a docker hub account i do have that and what i can do is do docker login and it'll ask me for my username and password that way my terminal or my command line is logged in into the docker account so i already am uh, logged in right the next command that we have to run is we have to tag this image using the command docker tag so we will tag this image to be version 1.0 right so now you can see that the command says docker tag docker slash grafana dash container which was the local uh, name we were using and then what i'm doing is i'm using reshape kumar 7 which is my docker hub username and i've named the container again grafana dash container along with the version number so if if i hit enter this will tag to the docker hub so now what I can do is just do docker push, so docker push and then reshape kumar 7 grafana container and then we'll use version 1.0 and hit enter and you can see it'll start pushing the changes to grafana and you'll see that it'll start pushing those changes to docker hub. So if I open up my browser window here and go to docker hub. You can see there is a grafana dash container right and you can also see last post a few seconds ago so there you go we have our tag 1.0 here that was pushed a few seconds ago now we can use this public image in microsoft azure with container apps and i'll show you how so now if i click on create a resource right and this is my azure portal and what i'll do is type in container apps and you can see the container app right here click on create we'll use the visual studio enterprise subscription and the container app name we'll give it dash grafana dashboard 
Learn to Cloud. Since we are building this for Learn to Cloud, East US2 looks good. Container app environment, uh, it did create a new one for us. So we'll go into app settings now. And you can see it's using a quick start image, which we don't want. So we'll click on, we'll uncheck that. And the Grafana dashboard, and then for the container details, we'll go into Docker Hub and use the public image. And in our case, it was Rishabh Kumar 7 Grafana container. And we are using the version 1.0. Command override, we don't want any, and I'll change this to 0.5 CPU cores and one gig of memory. I don't have any environment variables right now. For the traffic, we do want ingress traffic, right? And we don't want it limited, so we'll open it for the entire internet, right? Because we wanna make these dashboards public. And then for target port, Remember I said it was 8080, right? As we saw it running locally. So make sure to add that or whatever port you have specified in your Docker file. And then we'll go ahead and click on review and create. Oh, so it gave me an error that the container app name cannot contain any uppercase letters. So we'll do lowercase d. And now we can go ahead and click on review and create. And you can see the validation passed. And now if I click on create, it should create our container app and we'll wait a few seconds for it to be deployed. And then I'll show you, you can access the Grafana dashboard and it's better than having it running on a VM that was costing our 15 to $20 a month. Okay, so the deployment has finished and we have an application URL that is being given to us right and you can see this is the container app dashboard which you can see there are a bunch of properties on the left hand side and settings that you can look into and if i open up the url let's see if it gives us the grafana login page and it does so there you go we containerized our grafana dashboard that R was running on an Ubuntu VM and we are running it on a container apps and we are also utilizing Nginx as a reverse proxy and we implemented HealthCheck. I hope you liked this video and you know me, I am the senior 10x DevOps engineer and you'll see me coming back to this channel soon. Hope you find it helpful and I hope I taught R about containers and how to use Docker. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.